All right, we got Tanisha in the building from the G. Came in here to hang out, get this book. Dr. Renicia Williams from the inside out. Talk to me about why you in here to support my girl. Well, I'm here to support um, Dr. Renicia because I have known her for some years. Her father and my father are best friends. Okay. And we kind of grew up together and we went to high school together. <laughs> so we were at Emerson okay. together. And so um, we actually grew up because our fathers were best friends. Now let me ask you, what are you expecting to get out of this book? I know you know the power uh, of, uh, of Renicia and how she's operated, but what do you expect to get out of this book? Um, Renicia has always had like words of wisdom all the time. She is two years older than me. She's probably going to kill me for saying it. Okay, <laughs> she, two years, and I always looked up to her um, because she was always someone that persevered. And so when I found out that she was um, writing this book, and the title of it, just the title of it is Powerful Alone from the Inside Out. Mm -hmm. And I can, I, mm -hmm. I can see the transformation of what God has done to her uh, from the inside out. And so I wanted to just get the book and just to um, read it for myself so it can be inspiring and uplifting to me as well. We got Tyrone here. Tyrone, talk to me about what you plan to get out of this book or what do you expect to get out of this book from the inside out by Dr. Renicia Williams? Uh, one of the things I plan to get out of this book, to see, just like to say that I like to believe that I had a lot to do with her upcoming. What's your relationship with her? Me and her father worked together in U.S. Steel. Been knowing her ever since she was distant. Since she was tall enough to talk. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's why I say I like to think I had a lot to do with how she turned out. And reading this book is going to tell me a lot about how she turned out, which I already know how she turned out. She turned out great, marvelous. You know, but this book, I'm looking to see what it's going to add to what I already know about. That's awesome. I mean, I, I know a lot of us are, are from Gary and grew up in that environment. And, and we always tell folks that being from Gary is probably the best place in the world to be from, because if you can survive there, you can survive anywhere. And to be able to have a, a book like this is a manuscript for a lot of folks to take their lives to another level, to another um, to another area. So I'm I'm happy about it, and uh, seeing her grow up and being a friend of her father's, how proud are you that she's now put a book together? Oh, uh, I I mean words really can't explain. Yeah, I'm very proud of her. Um, because not only did I like to believe that I had something to do with her coming up, she had a lot to do with my kids coming up because she was a little bit older than my kids and whenever I wanted something for my kids to do yeah. and I needed a role model for them to follow, it was Renisi that I went to and, you know, so. So, doc, so Dr. Williams had not, has always been an uh, upstanding person. Always, always, always that you know I know of. Always, yeah. Y'all heard it first. Go get this book. You got somebody out here that knows what they're talking about. Been knowing this woman all her life and knows that this book is worth getting. Shonda drove here from Cincinnati, Ohio, to pick up this book. But what are you looking forward to most in reading this book? Wow, that is a interesting question. Um, I guess I'm just looking for the same thing that that I always get from her, encouragement, um, she tell the truth, and just um, information that you find very useful. So I'm excited, I'm looking forward to reading it and see what happens. Y'all heard it first. If, hey, look, if Shonda gonna drive all the way from Cincinnati to get the book, I know you can just get online and get the book. Holla at your boy. Thanks a lot, girl. Now, Miss Autumn, Talk to us about, I know your mama wrote this fabulous book. Why should other people buy this book? I think she, um, other people should buy this book because this book is an awesome book. It's about from the inside out who you really are. And it's not about how you look. It's about what you feel inside. Now, what does that mean to you when you say it's not about how you look and how you, how you feel inside? 
It's like um, everybody has different personalities, and it's not how you look, how you dress. It's about what you like, what you really have inside of you and stuff. Now, would you encourage your other friends? <laughs> so, what are you what are you gonna tell them about getting this book? What, what if you had to tell them two or three things why they should get this book? What would you tell them? First, I would tell them that it's a good book. It's about um, from the inside out. Who you, who are you? And then the second thing I would tell them, I would say it's a really good book. Um, you can learn something. And the third thing I would tell them is they should get this book. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for coming to see us, and we love your hair. <laughs> it's your man, Jay Gray's report. We in the building. We got the mother of Dr. Renicia Williams in the building. So now, talk to us, Mama, about what you were able to get from this book and how this book inspired you. This book is an awesome book. Not just saying it because it came from my daughter, but... Um, as spiritually speaking, this book is a well-needed book because um, we can't go forward in life until we really know who we are in life. And the, the chapter, the spirit, soul, and body, when you get to that chapter, just meditate on it and get the, get the substance out of it because it will really, really take you far in life. Now, did you expect, I know you've been with your daughter your her whole life, did you expect to see your daughter do things, things like this, write a book? She's had an unbelievably career, uh, but believably good career with Planet Seed Ministries and, and she's got a doctorate, etc. But did, did you ever think that she'd be writing a book? I never thought about a book, but I knew she had a lot of potential on the inside of her from the age of when I really discovered it when she was around seven years old. There's so much in her that she has to give out, and it's not selfishly given. It's to empower and to help others. But as far as the book, no, I didn't. But when she told me about it, I'm not surprised. I bet you were her biggest cheerleader when she was putting it together. Oh, yes, I was. Yes, I was. I started with her from the beginning, and she knew it was an urgency to get it done. So I, and there was a lot of, you know, ups and downs, but she, anything that she puts sets her mind to, she uh, conquers it, and she gets it done. So I'm not surprised. So what would you tell folks that don't have this book, why they should have it? I would tell them this book, the, the literature that's in this book is what I needed. I was 50 years old before I knew anything about uh, the spirit, soul, and the body of salvation. Why? Because I wasn't taught. But now, you know, I am taught and I'm going forward with this, but this is a well-needed book. Thank you, Mama. We really appreciate it. Holla at your boy. <laughs> now, look, we got Jean here. Jean, you tell me you read this book already. So what I need you to tell folks is why they should read this book, From the Inside Out, by Dr. Renicia Williams. This book was really awesome. It deals with the Word of God from uh, when you're first beginning of life, until you get your uh, salvation from the Lord. And it deals with the purpose. It helps you find your purpose in life. And those are the main three uh, topics it deals with. And it gives you a really good insight on how to find uh, yourself on this journey. Anyone can read it. I couldn't put it down. I put it down maybe once to do some housework, but I went right back to it. It's very easy to read. Uh, child can read it but it is very exciting it's really good and I like it because it deals with the Word of God and so many times we get off 
from God and go into the world system. But this is straight from the Bible. She has a lot of um, scriptures here you can always refer to. And it's very, you know, uplifting. It's your man Jay Gray's report. We in the building. We got David Mays here. David, talk to us about, first of all, how did you meet Renicia? And what's your relationship with her? Well, I met her while I was in prison. I was in Westville. And uh, what happened was they actually, the first service that she ever had, we just heard about it called Planted Seed. And it was kind of like the church services in there, they was watered down. You know what I mean? And you, you can't water down the word. There ain't no way to water it down. So it was just one day me and my buddy Reese, we was like, man, let's go to this service. And we went in there. And, you know, it was a woman. We knew it was a woman. But she brought power with her. You know what I mean? She didn't just come in there to, to talk, you know what I mean, try to make you feel good. No, nah, she came in there with some power. That's how I met her. So, now, 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 let me, now you say you were in prison. How long were you in prison, and how long did you participate uh, in, the, in, her, in her services? Well, I was in her service. That was for her first service there until okay. I went home. And I was actually in there for seven and a half years. I signed a 40-year plea bargain, but I only did seven and a half years. But I was there from her first service until I went home. Even we used to get mad because some days we, it was our service night for planting seed, and they would find some way to cut the service off. And it, it, it was wild. It really was. But, you know, I've been there since, with her since I met her. Wow, unbelievable. Now, now you say that she brought fire and power to it. Talk to me about what she did that was so much more different than everybody else. What really was different about her was her persona, the way that she came about it. You know, some preachers are hold back what they got to say. And what really draw me closer to her is because she didn't hold back nothing she had to say. And everything she said, she backed it up with what was in the Word. She didn't say what she thought was right or what she thought the Word said. She said what the Word said. That's what she did. That's the power that she brought. Because, see, when you, when you talk about the word, man, it's, it's an authority in there. And if you standing on shaky ground, then you ain't got the power in you to bring the word because you're on shaky ground. You know, but she came in there on a firm foundation, and she just took off. You know, the, the, the word that she gave us, I mean, that's just like the first time I heard from her. The very thing that got me was, when she said, God didn't bury you, he planted you. It's power right there, bro. Power. Now, now when, when, when she was coming in on a weekly basis and making that impact, how was, how was her impact felt around the prison? Because obviously you were in there, you telling other folks about her. So did, the, did she start getting a, a larger following of folks coming in, wanting to hear the word from her? Yeah, she did. And see, the thing of it was, too, though, you had some brothers, we call them, we, we call them closet Christians in there. They ain't want nobody to know what they was doing. They ain't want nobody to know they was Christian, this, that, and the other. But the way that she brought that power with her was we took what we learned from her and took it back to those other brothers. Okay. Then some of those other brothers started coming to the service too. And then it just went from there. Those same brothers that were scared went back to their friends who we didn't know. Read their Bible, did this, did that, and the other. They took it to them, and next thing you know, they're in there. You know, it's sort of like it, it was a generational thing. It started off with the older folks, then it went to some that was a little bit younger than us, then it went to those that was younger than them. And that's the power that she brought because, you know, truth, as the word says, sets you free. But truth will also bring light to your life. And that's what we did. We took what she taught us, and we took it back into our dorm. And told the other brothers, like, look, man, this is what she said today. And the brother's just like, man, you know what? I'm going to sign up for that service. So why, so why you sitting inside and you got someone like Dr. Dr. Uh, Williams coming in, giving you light and power from the word, it gave you a lot of hope while you was in there, I would assume. Yes. Yes. Because you got to think about it. If you sign a 40-year plea bargain, you basically think your life is over. Yes. But it was a different thing with me. 
my life had actually begun when I signed that plea bargain. It hurt, but it had actually just begun when I signed that plea bargain. It's unbelievable. So I, so I would assume that knowing that she has this book out, you probably can't wait to read it because you already know what the power is in her that's bringing this book. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can't wait. I know, I know it's power in that book. I know it is because, you know, it's a few people, man, I've told about this book too. Even though I haven't personally got into it myself, but knowing her, I know page for page and there is a lesson. You know, a lesson that you can apply to yourself. And I actually, I would actually like to buy a box of books because it's a few people I want to pass them out to. You know, I got a few co-workers that probably need to read that too. Because if we don't know what's on the inside of us, then how can you be what God made you to be? That's real talk there. That's real talk. Hey, it's your man Jay Graves Report. We hanging out. Make sure you get this book from the inside out. Who are you? And, it, and my man right here just gave it to us. Real word, real insight. What do you have to say to end this interview about this book and about Dr. Williams? Well, to end the interview, I would actually like to say she planted a seed in me when I first met her. And still to this day, that seed she planted in me is growing. So this book is well worth it. No matter, it, it ain't about the price that it costs because money loses value, but this book will never lose its value. There it is. It's your man, Jay Gray's report. Holla at your boy. We got the woman of the hour, Dr. Renicia Williams, author. I like saying that. Yeah. <laughs> author, from the inside out, who are you? Now, talk to me about what the inspiration was in writing this book and what you hope folks are going to get out of. Well, after being in ministry for like over 10 years now, I'm finding that a lot of people that attend church often and been in the church for several years, they don't know who they are. You know, they're, they're identifying themselves from their flesh instead of from the spirit realm. So I felt that it was a very good time to bring this out with the racial profiling going on and the anger that's going on. And I wanted to be able to identify the real enemy in this whole, this whole game that's going on. So I decided to, you know, get this book together so people can be able to know who they are instead of the world giving them a definition of who they are. I know you've been doing a lot of work. We talked to um, David a minute ago about his experience with you uh, in prison. What are the folks inside the prisons talking about when they, when they talk about this book? What are they saying? Well, they're finding out who they are. Basically, the book is talking about we're a spirit that lives in a body that has a soul. They're thinking, you know, I have to hustle, sell dope, I have to do this, I have to do that. But what they need to do is go back and discover who they are so they can go to the original source so they can find out what their purpose is. So finding your purpose and finding out who you are will put you in the right lane to be successful. So you're saying there's a lot of folks walking around here inside the jails and outside of jail that don't even know who they are. They don't know who they are. I've, I've gotten feedback where people have left their church because they felt like, hey, I'm 50 something years old and my pastor has never taught me this significant piece that I need in my life to be successful. Now, wh what in particular is the significant piece that you talk about? Div dividing the soul, spirit, and body. I, in the book, I, I talk about briefly about how this is our house that we're housed in. When you drive past one of your friend's crib, you'll say, hey, there's, there's so-and-so crib. And that's correct. That's his crib, but that's not him. He's inside the crib. So when we leave here, we all have to leave. When we leave here, our bodies leave, our bodies stay, and our spirit goes to heaven or hell. And I talk about that and keep it real in here about there is a heaven and a hell. And we have to come back to the original, the original design for us. In the, in the Bible, it talks about we were created in his image and after his likeness, and God is a spirit, so therefore we are spirits. We're spiritual beings having a natural experience. <clears throat> Y'all hear that? This girl is powerful over here. <laughs> I love it. Now, but, but you've spent so much time ministering to folks. Why did you feel it necessary to put it on paper, put it in a book, put it somewhere that folks could take with them. Why did you feel that was necessary? Because you've been so powerful in, in, with Planted Seed Ministries and all the things that you've been doing. Why write the book? We're in a 
very important time right now in this world. I mean, things are happening that we've never seen. Mm -hmm. um, things that I experience in the jails when I'm counseling people, because I'm working with women now in our local jail. And people are struggling and they're looking for answers. Um, in the book, I talk about when I was a little girl, five years old, I wanted to know where the sound came from, from inside our body. Where were we before we got here? You know, my mom would be like, girl, be quiet. You're too deep. You, you know, but I really wanted to know. And this book talks about all of that. And then another thing I'm finding that a lot of people, when they get a little scripture in them, they go open up a church. We have, the last time I did a um, research in Gary, we had 636 churches, active churches. And look at the community. The book talks about the different pillars that we are to dominate, media, entertainment, uh, school, all of those type of things. We can still be Christians and be ministers in our purpose. You can minister the word when you're out interviewing people. We can minister the word on a factory line. Right. So I, I'm just encouraging people to get this book, lay the, go back to the foundation so that you can prosper. Y'all heard it first. Get this book from the inside out. Who are you? Dr. Renicia Williams from the G. You know how we get it in, so let's get it in. Well, make sure you go get this book. If you're from the G, if you're from Indianapolis, wherever you're from, you need to go get this book. Powerful piece, and everybody's in here talking about it. Holla at your boy. Thank you.